Okay, good morning. Uh, looks like we are going to gap up nicely this morning. It's about 8.32, 8.35. Um, looks like GM has come to an agreement with the United Auto Workers um, Guild of the Union, and that's causing the market to gap up nicely, up uh, 52 points. As I speak right now at 13920 but I wouldn't ex expect to see this uh, can hold all day. I mean, this market's really extended up here. Gaps are very hard to trade. But because this news is uh, in the market right now, I'm sure that GM will continue to hold this market, at least at this level. But don't expect a push too much higher. You know, who knows? You know, who really knows? This is uh, becoming a very crazy, crazy market these days. I'm actually seeing, seeing um, signs of a... Uh, a bubble forming almost. I see these moves in these stocks, you know, Apple and these f solar stocks and everything going up four or five points a day. It's just like, uh, yeah, it's like 1999 all over again. Anyway, um, uh, a lot of things just gapping up this morning. CME, all the exchange stocks look good today again. You know, they're going to have a run over. I should have got into CME yesterday as it was added to the, uh, I believe, uh, S&P 500. So that was up like 13, 14 points yesterday. Now it's up another five points this morning. Uh, RIM's up another two and a half points. Uh, Wind, casinos, up two points. Google, up $1.90. Uh, Monsanto's going to have a conference today. They were talking about that on Fast Money yesterday. It looks great. At 82.55, I see this one going to 100. I'm probably going to try to get on a trade on this one. Of course, Apple, uh, the juggernaut Apple, is uh, up a dollar 68. And then Ice, another exchange stock, and 9x exchange stock up both like nightly. Garmin, of course, Goldman Sachs, and then uh, New York Mercantile Exchange up a dollar 20. I'm in on that one. I would watch that one closely today for any rumors or any uh, movement towards 130. And uh, as you see, things are starting to move here. So it's going to be an interesting day. Also keep an eye out on AXR. AXR, it's, a housing, uh, it's in the housing sector. has an extreme amount of shorts on it. And it's getting to a point where there's going to start, some shorts are going to start covering this stock. This thing is just, was $130 something dollars. Now it's twenty six dollars. I have no idea why. It's just the shorts are pounding this one, pounding it. But one day it's going to turn around. And it's going to have a short squeeze like no other. I'm talking ten, twelve points a day. So uh, this one's a great one to have on your watch list. AXR, put it on your watch list. Uh, remember, watch the housing stocks today. And if the housing stocks are running, this AXR is going to go. So that's another good indicator. Uh, I think that's about it for now. We're going to catch up with you uh, around noon. Just looks like an interesting day. I'm also along OMTR, Taser, Surf, Intel looks great. Remember the USU, like I said, it gapped up nicely. It's at 1080 now. It'll probably uh, run a little bit past uh, 11, $11, maybe to 1120, and then uh, just unload it into the crowd. And, uh, oh, and Intel, $26. We'll see what happens to that. 2650 is the key number there. So enjoy. Have a good morning. Don't get carried away on this gap up. Remember, uh, they could fade this market very easily all day. So uh, don't get too crazy out there. It's Wednesday. Uh, and uh, just keep your watch list. Get on the momentum. Uh, momentum seems to be working really good, so it's really a great trade is to uh, watch what closes very strong around 4 o'clock and then buy and hold overnight and get rid of it in the morning, especially if it's on record volume and it's closing on its highs and the momentum's behind it because uh, these things last a few days. This is not, you know, this is not the normal stock market anymore. We're getting back to the crazy days. You might as well enjoy them.